Hello everybody, my name is Criticorn and welcome to GT New Horizons. I haven't made any videos in a long time and I want to get back into it because I remember how fun it used to be back in the old days. I think it was like 2012 since I made any videos. <laughs> and uh, I would really love to get back into a really grindy mod pack again. Anyways, um, this will I, this is actually my third attempt at recording this only because first time it was terrible, my intro was awful, and then the second time I lost my recording footage somehow or anything that was recorded, and, and the third time being this one, this is being the and this is the third fucking recording attempt. So hopefully this shit doesn't get deleted. I don't even remember deleting it, and it really made beer dicks, and I have to start over again. Thankfully, I didn't get too far. <laughs> Actually, I didn't get far at all. Still in the beginning. Anyways, um... Yeah, that's the only world type. Yeah, just a... I'm gonna turn this on, because I think without this on, you can't use waypoints, I think. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. There's gonna be a lot of things that we're gonna be talking about in the beginning here. I'm gonna wait for this thing to load first. <laughs> I like the background. Okay, there we go. Fucking finally, holy smokes. I swear I have a good computer. Alright. Interesting. I like this place already. Got to install Optifine in this. Even though I have a pretty beefy computer, this game could be kind of hard to run for some reason. I like get my bearings here. There's an oil spot. Nice. Anyways, um, <laughs> so the very first beginning, as soon as you spawn in, you wanna kind of wanna find a really good place to call home, and I. Really mean it, like, you need a pretty huge area, maybe a flat area if you know how to make cool buildings and already have a train going by, oh my god! But already, um, we spun on a pretty steep mountain, I actually kind of like that. I'm not very good at making buildings, I'm not very good. Oh, I, I, I'm decent, it just takes me a while to figure out what, what it, what I want it to look like. Also, collect some snowballs you're gonna need, need later. If you had a shovel, of course. <laughs> okay. Alright, we might as well get some wood. I'm trying to get my bearings and everything and how it looks. Yeah, this is a great spawn, by the way. Damn it! I forgot to get my old resource packs and stuff like the old sounds I hate the new sounds in this game it, it's it's so irritating to listen to all right let's look at our quest book um I think we'll be safe here while we look for the first test find food and shelter for the night the night in this pack are cruel because of hardcore darkness. Like, legit dark. You cannot see anything, like old school fucking darkness. But you will have a bed by the end of this quest tab. Okay. You don't need to keep this quest book? Yeah, you can just toss it. It's, uh, defaulted to, uh... Actually, in this new update, it's not... It... Where is it? Wait. Yeah, it's not. See, so I have to get a different key. Um, yeah, you can just read the rest of it. Just grab some dirt so we can continue here. Let's get that done with. All right, now everything just opens up finally. So, so uh, we're gonna be using this kind of like generation and whatnot so 
can't change it, which is great. I prefer this world generation. It's really neat. Makes it easier to figure out what you want to build and stuff. Got me that. Um, so the numbers in the corner, as you can see, the top left there, that's a good amount of information. Over time, I'll explain some of it. But the main thing you want to be looking for is humidity. And uh, unfortunately, in this mod pack, um, water is not infinite. <laughs> I mean, sort of. Like, you can't make a 2x2... Two two. You can't make a 2x2 two two water source. It won't continue to generate water. So you just need to come up with other ways to... Get to water. Grab these too, by the way. Gonna need a lot of cotton, a lot of string. Wow. So let's see. Let's take a look at this. So yeah. Um, another thing to keep in mind, as you can see right now in the top left corner with all the information below it, there's something called this is an ore chunk. Pretty much when you're looking for, you can even use Wayla, or sorry, Journey Map. <laughs> if you're looking for ores and stuff, uh, you might as well try to like check every chunk. It seems like there's a huge vein beneath us. Beneath I'm going through multiple chunks. And it's not chunk based, like it. there won't be like in this whole chunk, it'll be ore in here. It's like spread across like multiple chunks. So keep that in mind. Uh, ore is not really our priority right now, so our main thing we want to do is just look for a place to live. And I already found it. We spawned on it. It is this mountain. I'm gonna get a bit more wood here. Right now I'm kind of looking for gravel, but I think I might go back to that one. There's a cave here. Yeah, you like legit you cannot look in there. Even on my recording, I'm looking at it right now, you can't see shit. So I Oh. Yeah, uh <laughs> be uh dried brain, I guess. <laughs> I forget what that's called. Brain jerky or whatever. You can actually get some free aspects. I think it would be a great idea to like automate that at some point. But uh, as you can see with those hearts, um, there is diminishing returns in this in this uh, mod pack. Unfortunately, you don't have to worry about this. I mean, actually, hold on a second. This wasn't in the last update, so this is totally new. <laughs> so if you keep the, I know how to worry. So you just keep these bars at full as possible. You'll have. If I remember correctly, I think you have a lot more health than usual. Which, hold on a second. Okay, that's still in here. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so yeah, if you um, like, and one of the one of your goals should be like eating all types of foods for the first time, because the more you do, the more health you gain over time. Very, very useful, especially the fact that uh, enemies in this game can one-shot you. It's crazy. Even with uh, really good armor, they they do a lot of damage. Like I think they're called infernal mobs or something. I already wasted enough time. God damn. I haven't found any gravel. Oh my god. So the reason why we need to find gravel is because uh, that's the first set of tools we will be making. Is uh flint tools not gravel tools flint tools <laughs> uh i might as well get into a tree because i wasted too much time look how dark it's getting holy shit dude come on i can't even fucking see my hand it's that dark Well, I'm going to have to deal with it for now. Um, while we wait, let's continue looking at this stuff here. 
I don't know, I could probably plant that, but I don't really care that much. Too many keys. Um, fit 104 key points. There are many key points in the mod pack to avoid conflicts. Most of them are unbound by default, thankfully. That's really good. I hate that shit, and a lot of mod packs have played it in the past. Um, it, it is gray, but there's a mod that conflict that's conflicting with it, which I showed already. You got battle gear, which is pretty neat. You can have uh, an extra hotbar on both sides for your weapons and shields. You got Draconic Evolution, where you can place items on walls and floors and ceilings, I think, maybe. <laughs> yeah, journey map and all that stuff. Inventory tweaks. Um, yeah, this is like server kind of stuff. Wayla and all that, not all that nonsense. So, thankfully, you don't have to play around too much with keybinds. The only thing I changed was the um the questing mod button. <laughs> so we got a Roma or at least a backup. So thankfully, we can back up our stuff. You get a little coin, which is very useful. Um, I just remembered there's a mod I didn't install because of the new update. FTB teams, but we really don't need that since I'm playing in a single player world, but it'll still be nice to have So we can chunk load which in essence is actually kind of cheating, but at the same time It will definitely speed up things <laughs> Just a bit even that bit is not really saying much but having things like let's say crops uh Row <laughs> so we could have a good amount of food is super important again this mod is not only difficult in terms of combat and mobs and stuff it's also very difficult when it comes to trying to get other kinds of food to eat so you don't starve loading chunks so we can load chunks anyways but let's see the chunks in a range blah 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 it even says that you you can if you want chunk load or un install the FTV teams mod that allows you to claim in low chunks but there's other ways to do it if you want to like have a more pure experience oh yeah don't use chicken chunks but yeah I got a cookie all right now <laughs> we got a new tab but that's for other things man look how beautiful this guy is I uh after I cut I ended up installing the mods including Optifine which by the way I'll have in the link description below um I'll using the link that a friend of mine gave me uh, that actually works with uh, with his mod pack like it would have the GTNH on it like I think I think it's specifically made for this mod pack but I'm not entirely sure <laughs> but uh yeah the sky is really beautiful I really love it really neat just uh, before we start before I continue if you play it on a server, uh, you can add people to your party, uh, which means there's two party systems in this game. One is this, and then the uh, quest one. Quest one is the the quest party one is for in case you want people to like be on the same quest line as you. Like as soon as someone like if you're far ahead and someone new comes in, and they join your party, they'll be on the same quest area as you. I'm not entirely sure if they'll have all the rewards that you got in the past, but. That's how it works. And then we got the chunk loaders here. Pretty much you left click to uh, claim a chunk. And then you control left click to load said chunk. You're going to do it. Oh, no, you can't. You have to claim it first. Okay. And then you right click to erase it. Oh, yeah. I forgot to move the fucking resource packs. Oh, well. That's fine. I will deal with it for now. Like, the sounds I don't mind too much, actually, but it's just... I prefer the old-school sounds. Yeah, I'm pretty old-school that way. I I can't help it. Alright, uh, so like I said, we need to find some gravel. Really cool looking in the modern area. It's really hilly, mountainy, but mountainy. <laughs> That's not a word. And then also kind of uh, quite a bit of flatness everywhere. Be a pretty cool area to build in and make everything nice. Maybe even like a little village if you if I want. 
Oh, sweet. So yeah, sometimes when you're caving, you can find ore veins, but again, it's more efficient if you were to dig for it. I actually kind of want to see what this ore vein is, but I think I might know it. I think this might be calisite. Um, gypsum ore, very important. So this is a great find. Uh, you can right click and it will tell you that, you know, you discovered said ore vein. Even cooler, if you were to go to journey map, there's a button right here called show ore veins. And as you zoom in, you can see what you found in said trunk. Pretty neat, very useful. If you don't want to make a crap ton of waypoints, which you probably still will. You know, if you don't want to travel very far all the time just to get ore. And you're going to need a lot of it. Trust me, like, if you think, if you ended up taking, like, a few hours to mine, like, let's, see, let's say, like, a few stacks of iron ore, you're gonna need a lot more, oh, again, soon. <laughs> I cannot explain enough of how much ore you're gonna be needing for a long time. Actually, just throughout the entire mod pack, but in early game, it, you still need quite a bit. Okay, you wanna have a good start. All right, anyways, uh, let's eat this. Okay, I don't even know if that counted. Anyways, um, is that, that's weird. At least they gave us a torch. And then I get mine that you need food, so look for pamps, harvest craft gardens. Very useful, some of the crop drops, that. some of them drops from some of the drops from them for seeds. Okay, that's weird. Anyways, then we need a bunch of flint, which you would get by doing this. All right, crafting table. Simply put, put some flint there and some wood logs there. Bam, a crafting table. My goodness, that is loud. Oh yeah, that's right. Wait. We cannot make bread that way. We need to get mortar and pedestal. Uh, you can toss this if you want. Actually, in fact, I'm going to. It's mortar inventory space. A little confused on that. All right, that's pre pretty much pickaxe. Um, one thing to note, when you look at the durability, the durability is a lie. There's not, you cannot mine 12,800 blocks. <laughs> That is just some weird durability they decided to do. Holy shit, that Enderman's freaking out. <laughs> so, more than likely, this is probably like 64 blocks, maybe a little bit less. It'd be kind of sweet if it was that many, but no, it's that would be better than diamond, like quadruple better than diamond for sure. Um, I definitely need to get more gravel. Yeah, gravel is going to be very important. Even when you're past flint tools, gravel will still be like very important. If you, pretty sure for like building and whatnot, but there's something to do to flint and gravel. Excuse me. Uh, well, that it was update I'd never seen before. You can see the durability is a lot more accurate. It's easy to see percentage. <laughs> it used to be a bar, and the bar kind of sucked. Like a durability would be shown as like a bar or whatever. I, I don't know how to explain it. And uh, when it's like almost broken, it the bar will turn to a red color, which really didn't mean much. Like it, it wasn't very accurate. So I'm really happy with this change. I don't care if I do that. Uh. Get an axe and a sword. Um, another thing to note: since the mod creator, oh my god, I can't think. <laughs> since the mod creator likes to f just mess with mess with its players, at least that's what it feels like. <laughs> Whenever you attack a mob with the. I'm not, I can't remember entirely sure if it's just stuff that isn't, what was it, Greg Tech 
items or whatever, but er everything else other than Greg Tech stuff, there's a chance that there will be an explosion. Not like a massive explosion, but a pretty a pretty hefty one. I think it might end up taking like a few hearts, but it sucks. It's annoyed. Thankfully, it does a, doesn't destroy the items when you like kill a cow or some shit, but it scared the shit out of me the first time I played. I almost ran away without getting a, a bunch of gravel. I think I'll be fine for now. Um, damn it. Almost out of time again. I know there was some sheep around, but making a bed is actually a lot more difficult. I should look for a village just to get a free bed. <laughs> Got some marble. Where's the sun? Oh, it's right there. It just looks like clouds to me. Uh, boy. Okay. Yeah, cool thing with flint tools, things like if you're killing a cow, they get cooked automatically because it has fire aspect on it. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna grab some snowballs. Back up to my tree again! I think I'm gonna go that way. It looks pretty neat over there. Overall, I really like this area. But yeah, uh, stock up on uh, these types of saplings. You'll, it'll definitely help out a lot, and especially these bushes. There are, I think there's four kinds, and there's like berries, raspberries, blueberries, and then there's mellow berries, right? No, I think there's... Oh, fuck. I'm forgetting, it's been a while, sorry. Uh, yeah, raspberries, and blueberries, blackberries, and mellow berries, so... Pretty neat. There's a lot of things I want to explain, but I don't want to get too far ahead, and then it just being too much information, so I hope everything wasn't, I hope I'm not, like, going crazy with the information right now. Without dying. Nothing right now. Until we may, until we complete tools, we can get into that. You can, that, that is, by the way, uh, mud armor, if you're curious. Okay, so let's, let's, la -la -la -la. the last one uh let's I'm gonna get these sometimes you can get pretty lucky sometimes you can get pretty lucky with the loot bags that will give you food and whatnot and a bunch of new stuff has been unlocked um this is actually pretty useful like I recommend making a bunch of stairs so you don't have to jump everywhere if you want to save your saturation or as much as possible and not eat too much just make a bunch of stairs probably out of stone because you're gonna be getting a lot of it um make a storage you need like wood planks and whatnot let's make that right now actually oh I need I forget I need uh wooden logs sweet I got junk First mob, our first enemy. At least it was a normal enemy. Oh, the giant zombie! No wonder. I was thinking, like, man, you seem a lot larger for a zombie than, than I'm used to. No, it was legit a large zombie, a giant. Okay, holy shit! Stop! Oh my goodness. Alright, uh, I want to do a little bit of exploring over there. Hopefully we can find a village. Because, uh, villages have a bunch of great things that, uh, can help out with crafting and whatnot. Especially doors. Uh, things like doors, trapdoors, you know, all that stuff. 
can be uh, kind of annoying to make in early game. I think that's a, uh, that's a rose. Um, it's another giant zombie. Oh my god! Uh, that guy had a fishing rod, that's why I was freaking out. Oh, you dropped something. Fortune 1. Not really useful in this mod pack. I'm starting to realize in my server. <laughs> yeah, it's not really that useful when your main priority is to grind the ore. Oh, here's one of the gardens it mentioned. I'm gonna eat them first just to get the... They call it shanks, apparently, so... Oh, hey, look at that. We found some cactus. Which is weird. Uh, this is really weird. What the fuck? Well, I'm taking it. <laughs> what the hell? This is very bizarre, the fact that... <laughs> This started to spawn in this biome. What? It's called a cold forest. Ow! Dude! Uh, let's do that. You can shift right click and get the whole thing. Uh. Yeah, I'll just toss that. I would like to get as much of this as possible. Eventually, we're gonna make a cactus farm. Get some easy fuel. Ow, dude! Yeah, that's one of the explosions. I didn't randomly just get zapped by lightning. Well, I got quite lucky. Look at what we found some iron ore gravel. This will be quite useful to have. Okay, that was stupid. Easy way to like get your hands on these is using a torch and timing it right. You also will find some aluminum ore grapple, and when you do, be sure to grab it. Make room for it. Like legit, find as much as you can find. It is super important to get as much aluminum as possible. Because, uh, aluminum is very, very important later on. It's a cult over there. Which is actually pretty good. Alright, I'm just gonna give up on the, uh... On, uh, trying to find a village. Well, taking a bit to load. It's weird. I mean, I, that, that's totally understandable. Uh, I made a waypoint. You can actually just um, click a place and then right, or you can just double click whatever place you're looking at and then just make a waypoint and make sure there's a Y level. Typically, have it like above 60. Uh, so you don't like spawn in a in the ground or whatever. All right. Um. Where are we going to set up shop? What level? Probably... Uh, I'm kind of having second thoughts. <laughs> Not a lot of room, I realize that, but... Uh, what are you gonna do? We're mainly gonna have pretty much everything inside, so can't be too picky. Ooh, that's actually iron, I think. Nah, kind of. Um, you'll need to do a bit of processing just to get the iron out of it first. Ah, uh, I gotta choose before it becomes nighttime. All right, I'm gonna have it here. Ugh. 
Ugh. I had to do this before. <laughs> the last time I recorded this shit, now the fucking mine everything out again. I'm trying to get some food and whatnot. Um, should make a chest. Get all my junk out of here, especially these coins. These guys uh, will clog up your inventory. Best to make barrels or dra drawers, whatever you choose. All right, now it's starting to become pointless to eat that. Right. Uh, I guess I already... No, oh, stop! For some reason you start eating more of it. I, I hate that. Make that for now. To get that and so we can grow it. Um... Bruh! My goodness. I, I don't know why I make that sound. Trying to feed myself. By the way, uh, while you hover over item you scroll wheel, you can automatically send something into into your inventory by like one item of a time. <laughs> Instead of like shift clicking. Uh, so yeah, you scroll wheel downwards into your inventory or upwards into the... Uh, or no, you still do it. To put stuff in from inventory, you do it you still look go down, but if you do it for your inventory and you want, still want more, you just go upwards. That's weird. Alright. Oh, wow! That's a lot of aluminum. Very nice, so we can actually shovel this. I don't know if I'm going to... So I ended up talking about this earlier. I'm not sure if I end up putting in a video, but... If I do, I'll say it again. Make sure you find as much gravel... Really? Okay. <laughs> Make sure you find as much aluminum as possible. There will be a way to automate the gathering of aluminum or something like that. Uh, that will come in the form of... Uh, aluminum ore berries from Tinker's Construct, but we, we uh, normally you find them in caves, but in this one they changed it. The only way we're gonna find that or get it is uh, via a quest, so but that won't be for a while, maybe like the next episode or two. But I think this is a good stopping point, um, more of an introduction to the world of GT or New Horizons. And how insane this mod pack is. Um, really fun. If you really like a grindy mod pack or have been looking for one, because there's not much like that anymore. People are mainly just making, like, fucking RPG mod packs that almost all of them seem to be the fucking same and boring as hell. Uh, then definitely try this mod pack out. It's, it's, like I said, it's very grindy. But it's also very rewarding. Um, it's called GT New Horizons. You can find the Cursed Forge launcher, but it's recommended that you play it on the Multi MC launcher, which I also will have a link in the description for. So yeah, that will probably be it for this episode. I think I might record a few more, depending on like how much progress I make. <laughs> Okay, I'm procrastinating. Alright, anyways, my name is Quirkorn. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>